South Carolina Hope Scholarship was established in 2001, and it's designed for students who uh, want to attend an eligible four-year public or independent institution here in South Carolina, but don't quite meet the requirements for the Life Scholarship or the Palmetto Fellow Scholarship. The annual award for the award amount for the Hope Scholarship is $2,800, and that's usually broken up to uh, up to $1,400 in the fall and up to $1,400 in the spring. And the scholarships apply towards the student's cost of attendance, and see that gives the institution some flexibility to award some gift aid uh, or other gift aid um, to help the student. To qualify for the South Carolina Hope Scholarship, a student has uh, only one criteria, and that's a 3.0 GPA um, out of high school, and that's got to be based on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Policy. So the Hope Scholarship is um, only for the first year of attendance, and so the student receives that award with the hope that they'll move into the Life Scholarship program for year two. And to qualify for a Life Scholarship, um, a Hope recipient needs to earn at least a 3.0 Life GPA, and so that's the GPA they would earn in college and then an average of 30 credit hours by the end of that first year. The Life Scholarship is actually the second in the series of three scholarship programs. It was established in 1998, and a student can use a Life Scholarship at eligible two-year or four-year institutions in South Carolina. The annual award amount for the Life Scholarship is up to $5,000, and that's broken up into up to $2,500 in the fall and $2,500 in the spring. A scholarship can be applied towards cost of attendance, and that gives the institution the flexibility to award other scholarships or other gift aid that the student may receive. If you qualify for the Life Scholarship at a two-year institution, uh, there's only one criteria. The student needs to meet a 3.0 uh, out of high school based on the South Carolina Uniform Grade Policy. To qualify for the Life Scholarship at a four-year institution, there's three criteria and the student needs to meet two of them. So the first would be to earn a 3.0 GPA, again, based on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Policy or a student can use a standardized test score, which would be either an 1100 on the SAT or 24 on the ACT, or the student can rank in the top 30% of the graduating high school class. Now, they use the ranking criteria. The ranking policy of the high school does need to be approved by CHE staff. A student can earn the Life Scholarship while they're in college by earning a 3.0 Life GPA, and that is the cumulative GPA of college work, and by earning an average of 30 credit hours for every year that they've been in school. A student can receive the Life Scholarship for a maximum of eight consecutive semesters if they're in an eligible four-year program, or four years if they're in an eligible four-year program. Now, a student that's enrolled in an approved five-year program can receive the scholarship for a maximum of 10 consecutive semesters. The Lottery Tuition Assistance Program is a grant program designed for use at eligible two-year institutions in South Carolina. Now, that would include the 16 technical colleges in the technical college system, the four regional campuses of the University of South Carolina, and Spartanburg Methodist College. To qualify for lottery tuition assistance, a student simply needs to be enrolled as a degree-seeking student at an eligible college and complete that free application for federal student aid um, or a FAFSA waiver. The annual award amount for lottery tuition assistance can vary based on the number of students in the program, uh, but for the upcoming fall term, the award amount is $1,140 for a full-time student, and that's 12 hours, or that can be broken down to $95 per credit hour for a student that's enrolled in a minimum of six credit hours. The Lottery Tuition Assistance Program can only be applied towards the cost of tuition after all other gift aid has been applied. The Commission on Higher Education administers three programs to help students navigate the college access process. The programs focus on completing the college application, completing the free application for federal student aid, and then completing a celebratory program just to celebrate their decision to attend college. The first program the Commission administers is College Application Month, and this is South Carolina's adaptation of the American College Application Campaign, and the goal is to help students complete applications to get into the college of their choice. Um, to get involved, a high school simply needs to select a date, secure a space in their school, and then contact CHE staff to let us know what the date is. For our part, CHE will work with local colleges and universities to encourage them to go out to the high schools on that date and help those students complete the college application. During College Application Month act activities, we always want students to keep certain things in mind when they're completing the college applications. Number one, they should have key information available that they would need for the application. Different applications will require different things, uh, but most of them require the social security number um, and then for the student to create an account to, to create a sign-in and password. A student should always give themselves enough time when they're completing their college application because some of them do contain essays that the student will want to complete. 
There's also residency sections on most of our South Carolina applications so that they can determine themselves to be a resident for tuition and fee purposes. Students should always allow themselves time to complete the residency section as well, and they may need parent info for that, information for that section as well. Students should also have a transcript with them when they're completing the college application so they can fill out the classes in high school that they took. They want to identify SAT and ACT dates and be sure they, they're able to fill out the applications around those times and use their most recent scores. Students should apply early and then for that they can actually use the college application month at their school to complete the college application. Mock applications also help. A common app or even a paper application from a local college could help a student become more familiar with the application. College Goals South Carolina is South Carolina's adaptation of College Goals Sunday, which is a national program designed to help students complete the free application for federal student aid. Now, this application is important because that's how students unlock funding to access for their college education. South Carolina partners with um, universities and colleges across the state on, the, on certain days through the months of October through February so that the higher education institutions would open up their doors and invite families and students to the college campus and high school campus in some cases to complete the FAFSA. College Decision Day is our newest program at CHE and it's designed as more of a celebratory program for the high schools. The goal of College Decision Day is to emphasize a student's choice to enter post-secondary education. In South Carolina, we give a lot of attention to our wonderful high school athletes who sign on to, come, to sign on to go on to college on a scholarship. We thought it would be a great idea if South Carolina gave as much attention to students um, to every student who's going to college in the same manner that we celebrate our athletes. Um, it's patterned after National Col College Signing Day um, for that same purpose. You have a bunch of students in South Carolina that really don't believe college is an option for them. Um, and to not only for them to go, but then for the school, their high school to throw a program um, that, that celebrates that, that choice to go to college, um, it, it's awesome.